Pretty. Hello. Welcome back. So, talk us everything about you know the next the next element of research, the the enablement program. Tell us everything about it. I am maybe introduce there. yourself. Actually, introduce yourself for the people that that have just joined. You know, okay. we have people coming and joining. Okay, my show sure, French. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, so thank you for joining us today on this session. Um, and thank you, Cloud Security Alliance UK, for giving me this opportunity to uh, run you through this cloud security enablement program. I'm actually very excited about this because there's loads of really good things coming in onto, onto the program. Um, so just for those who don't know me, my name is Kriti Mohan. I currently work for Palo Alto Networks. As a security engineer, I've been in the industry for about 14 years or so. I started as a network security engineer and a network engineer, more like an admin person, and uh, then grew from there, worked at uh, different, uh, in the NOG, um, worked at Qualys, worked at Checkpoint, and I'm at Palo Alto. Uh, so it's been a long time in the security journey, and it's been very exciting. So it is now time for me to sort of be there with the community, sh learn and share with you guys. So. So really, this, this program is uh, for all our UK security practitioners and also beginners. Um, we are looking at uh, building a community, a community where you feel like it's a safe space to learn and share. Um, at the moment, I mean, from my sort of field knowledge from the security, digital transformation is really high on everyone's agenda. So I feel it's, it's very important to get skilled up and uh, I mean, we are being asked to do a lot of things literally on day one, as soon as a project begins. Um, sometimes you do have some training, sometimes it's self-training, uh, but we do have to continuously improve ourselves. And there is a, a great onboarding um, and uh, of cloud at the moment due to its availability, the elasticity, flexibility it offers, and so cloud, the security for any cloud uh, project becomes super important and uh, and so there will always be some kind of on-job learning and I'd imagine you'd be you know you'd want to try a few things yourself so this program really serves the purpose of building a community so um, and inviting you all to come and join the community to learn and share uh, during some of the parts of the program we are looking at doing is mentoring um, so if there are new beginners, someone who wants to move across industries, people who are new, students who are looking to move into security or particularly cloud security, uh, we are going to build uh, mentoring sessions. So again, these will be sessions where you could have a one-to-one -one and then um, share you know, your particular questions or how you feel about a few things, what is it that you want to learn, or if possible, maybe some shadowing and things like this. So that would be part of the mentoring sessions. Um, there's also a great a research community um, at Cloud, uh, Security Alliance Circle community. So the Circle community is, is part of a Cloud Security Alliance where you um, a lot of people come and just share what they know today what they're working on and what could be built in the future. So I think for the cloud security practitioners, the it'd be great to come and it would be great to hear your views on those. Um, so that'd be the research part. Um, some of the research topics are very, very good. It's for example, cloud security incident responses, uh, forensics and uh, um, building frameworks. Uh, budgeting costing, which is a lot of big questions for everyone when you go into the cloud. No one really knows how much is this going to cost you eventually. Uh, so there's a lot of discussions about those. Um, so I'd actually invite you all to come and join um, the research part as well and be part of it. And we, we could set up some of them in the UK as well, um, depending on what the topic is or someone is doing some, something interesting. So really the plan is to build a community, a really, I mean, in, I would say from my own personal experience, when I started in the beginning of my career 14 years ago as a network, security, network engineer, 
it was it was tough. Um, I did feel like I couldn't really ask many questions. And before I did ask any question, I had to go and research the hell out of everything just so I don't ask any stupid questions. So this community really is for you to feel safe, um, to ask any questions. So no questions would be stupid. And the plan is to run a two hour sessions every week or two, depending on the topic or subject. Uh, we're starting on 9th of November, so save the date, 9th of November, 7 p.m. The time could change depending on everyone's availability and our speaker's availability. But the plan is to run beginner session and also advanced session. Beginner session will mostly be for students or newcomers, those who are just joining us. And then there'll be the advanced session, who, which will be for the security practitioners, and there will be hands-on practice as well on those tools. And really the plan is to not just do talk and you know, and then we'll forget it later on, but also allow you to have access to the tools which, which the um, speakers will be speaking about. And you could have hands-on practice about on those tools. And just so you know that you actually tried and see how those tools works and get a feel of it. Um, before delving into into those tools in your corporate networks, say, for example. So that's the plan, really. Um, I have put on a schedule on Circle. So if you register on Circle, uh, so if you go to cloudsecurityalliance.org slash circle, and then search for the Cloud Security Enablement Program UK, it will be the first which will be listed in the list there. If you click on that and then join um, the program, the full schedule is on there, which dates, what time, uh, and which topics we're going to talk about. Um, the Zoom links will be provided on Circle itself. And uh, and really, it's uh, it's for you guys to come and make the most of it. There'll be a lot of sharing, and hopefully there'll be a lot of learning. And uh, out of this, we'll create this great community to learn and share between ourselves and just grow and uh, make the most of cloud security, really. Um, and as the winter months are approaching at the moment, it's getting dark very early. It's probably the best time to study and make the most of things. So I'd really invite you all to participate, get involved, and uh, let's get uh, growing and sharing. And that's it from me. And if there's any questions, I'm just very happy to take them now. Thank you, Kriti. So maybe my, my first question is why people should join and uh, if you had something like this, would have, would have helped you learning faster or going faster in, in your cloud journey? That, that's exactly it. I think the reason why people should join is because things are moving very fast today, exceptionally fast. I mean, by the time you learn some technology, it's give it a few months down the line, it becomes totally redundant. Um, but the concepts remains the same. So at least if you know how things are moving, you know, which tools are being used, you're aware of things, those are the kind of knowledge which makes someone much, much better at their job, at what they're doing. And I, I really do think it expands your horizon on what you could potentially do when you're learning um, from sort of different security tools. I mean, you don't have to attend every single session, but certainly something which is which is something you're working on or looking forward to learn, then I think that'd be that'd be um, the reason why I'd say get involved. Great. And for the and research, sorry, Frank. No, no, and, and on the research, actually, I was just about to ask, like, out, out of these kind of things, when what is the benefit out of people aside from you know what we mentioned, networking? What what do people get out of it? Oh, certainly. As in, for uh, for the research side of things, I would say the one of the biggest part is at the end of the research, um, the guys, the team who are working on the research team, uh, eventually end up with a white paper, and you will be part of one of those contributors to the white paper, and that is great visibility um, for someone who is in this cloud security profession or security profession. Um, for your career itself, it, it sort yeah. of makes you look like a bit of an expert on on the topic, um, and, and we market the hell out of it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We give a lot of visibility. Exactly, 
and and it's not just the marketing bit of it but you will know because the kind of conversations i've heard in this research is extremely extremely beneficial i mean i have learned so many things just simply listening in from the research and just being part of it even if i've contributed for probably one or two sessions in those Brilliant. And maybe one anecdote or funny things or interesting things or particular things that popped up from uh, from popped up from those sessions. What, what what was it? I would say meeting people. For the side from meeting people, anything weird, funny, a joke, anything that, that you remember that was particularly was I mean, remarkable on those on those events. I would say not particularly funny though, but <laughs> it's just uh, it's just great. I mean, on the research team, they 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 are really working. A lot of them are from the US, so uh, the time zone is slightly different. So most of the time, you will be in the evening. Um, but it's it's like you're part of this community. You're learning from them, and uh, you're just knowing people literally everywhere. And and. I, maybe I have, one. Ma maybe go, one go more question. <laughs> sorry, yes, referring to Cisco. Uh, maybe you know beginners. You know, I'll, I'll kind of pick pick on that a little bit. What are kind of the let's say minimal skills? Whether as these are soft skills or technical skills that you know would be appropriate to uh, to join this program. Um, I would say for for the beginners is you can be an absolute beginner, but you should have the hunger to learn. If if the beginner doesn't have the hunger to learn, it 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 will be it will be like one of those webinar session where you just go and listen in, and at the end of it, you you don't remember it. The point is, the point is, you you be part of this community. You learn from here. You share you share what you've learned, and then you mutually grow. So it's like this. Uh, it's like the stairs, like literally, where uh, you'll be sort of, you know, you take part, you grow, there'll be someone else who's a beginner, then you share with them. And really, that's how the community grows. Uh, but really, to answer your question, really, I'd say beginner, you can be a beginner, literally don't know anything about security, because the beginner session will be very fundamentals, basics, um, and will teach you about those things. So hunger would be the first thing. Second thing I would say would be um, someone who wants to work in the industry, of course. Um, so that would really help them. But the, these two things would be my answer, Brad. We're playing the hunger sessions. To drop the reverend. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe um, on, on students as well, and, and circling back on, on what um, Vlad was saying, you know, people don't learn about cloud, don't learn about networking, don't learn about public speaking, don't learn about writing white paper in university even, or even if they do, it's just academic or it's just a trial and error. This is actually trial by fire. And I think that's that's one good benefit and, and is why we're doing a lot of this activity uh, for the good content, for helping people getting out of their shells, you know, as, as I've done with you, as I've done with Shireen, as your career has done, I push people to actually go out and talk. <laughs> And Shireen is particular. Let, let, let me bring Shireen in. <laughs> Just Shireen has been particularly uh, with me on the pushy side for talking. <laughs> Tell a little bit your experience be before we 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 let uh, we let uh, Lee join. I think um, with uh, with respect to to being Public pushed to, to, to getting and, in, yeah to getting out of your shell out of your comfort zone absolutely absolutely and and it's it's true and regardless of your age or your background it's you have to push yourself you have to push yourself to grow and learn and you enjoy it and i think i was uh and it, it, this this goes to show this agm now we've been through it once we did it all last year together um we've been through it and it was there's a lot going on behind the scenes as we discussed earlier that you can't see necessarily on screen um and but but we're a bit more comfortable that's the thing you get past the discomfort and regardless of what you're doing if it's writing a white paper or presenting doing a talk um you just it's the initial bit of uh, discomfort afterwards it's it's a lot better you, you're like 
what was I worried about in the first place, you know? <laughs> Brilliant.